Episode 0, Scene 3, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. This episode was just showing us what happened during Scene 2, Part 2, through the eyes of Diablo and Vildora, where Diablo actually wanted to know what happened in both Rugged's because he wasn't there. And since he wasn't there, he had to get the information from the people that were there. He was in the kingdom of Famu trying to overthrow that kingdom for what they did to the Juris Tempest Federation. And also, Rimuru actually believes and trusts that Diablo can actually overthrow that kingdom on his own. That's why he's only sent him to actually overthrow that kingdom. That shows how much trust uh, he, uh, Rimuru has on Diablo. The thing is, is that Shion actually already told Diablo what happened in Moth Rugged. So she told him from the beginning all the way to the end. And she actually didn't lie. She act and the reason why she didn't lie is because uh, Veldora actually lied. He actually lied to make himself look good. Because he said, well, I showed up because I knew my friend was in need. So that's why I showed up. I showed up and I showed up like a hero. Like the heroes in my manga, my favorite manga. But the thing is, is Diablo told him, no, you showed up. Shion told me show up. you showed up because uh, you actually wanted the next volume of your favorite manga. Which actually, got he got a little upset with Shion for telling Diablo that. Because he actually tried to uh, show himself to be like a good person. Which in that instance, he actually wasn't a good person. He actually just showed up to actually get the next volume of manga. It's a good thing that he showed up, though. And also, we learned that Baldora and Rimuru have a strong connection, a strong bond. That uh, he actually didn't lie throughout the whole thing. He just lied uh, to make himself look good. That's why why he lied. He actually wanted to present himself like the hero that he wasn't. But that's why he lied. But he actually told uh, a majority of it the truth and also felt sorry for revealing... Uh, Demon Lord Luminous, Luminous or Lumius uh, identity, the actual Luminous Lumius uh, Valentine. He felt sorry for that. He actually told Diablo, like, "Yeah, I, I'm sorry that I didn't know that she was actually trying to hide herself." So he actually felt sorry for that. He felt sorry for revealing that, and also he didn't. He doesn't actually believe that Rimuru pretended either. He's not like a sycophant like Diablo is for Rimuru. He is a friend who actually would tell his friend the truth. He's not a friend who like, oh my god, I'm not, no. You were, you you didn't know, or you knew, you knew Rimuru, right? You knew. No, he, that's what Diablo said about that. <laughs> when actually, when er everybody found out that M Malene wasn't pretending, and everybody probably knew that she wasn't, that she wasn't under uh, Clayman's control, the only one that was surprised that she wasn't under control was Rimuru. But Diablo, of course, being a sycophant for his master, uh, uh, thinks that he was pretending. But that was, but that's a lie. Rimuru did, uh, was surprised a lot throughout this whole, uh, throughout that whole episode, throughout the whole time. Surprised that the, the about the demon lord, so being surprised of who that demon lord was. That Demon Lord Valentine, Luminous, Lumius, and also Malim not being under control of Clayman. But it's nice to know that they have a strong bond. They have a strong connection, him, uh, Rimuru, and Voldora. It's nice to know that they can actually hear each other's thoughts or hear each other's conversation because he actually got the conversation of Rimuru and Clay right, Clayman right. He actually got that right. He actually described it like, okay, Clayman is lying. He's lying through his teeth. And you got Rimuru showing the evidence and showing the proof that Clayman is lying. So he wasn't lying throughout the whole thing. He was lying to make himself look good. Which I really do like these episodes. Like these. I really like them having this type of recap where they have uh, like at least a one of the two main characters having a conversation of what's happening throughout this this recap. So it's pretty nice to have that. It's not just a regular recap. It's just a recap with a little funny to it, which was, uh, was funny. But that's it for this video, guys. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.